Hello Fantastics! Welcome in another watercolor tutorial! Before we begin, I want to suggest you to check out my previous video how to paint a rose with watercolors. So you can click here on the image or you will find it down here in the description box. In this video I want to show you how to paint feathers and I'll show you two different ways. The first one is this one which is more colorful, easier and perfect for decorations. And the second one is this one, which is much more realistic and much, much more poetic. So let's get started. As always, you will find a complete list of materials down here in the description box, so please check that out. For this project I'm going to use this super amazing paper by Kensen which is called Moulin du Roi and I will talk to you very soon about this paper because I am in love with it but as you can see I have samples which are full of signs and I really cannot use them like so. So I decided to cut them using this paper cutter. And voila! So we are ready to paint! So let's see the first method. I usually start preparing my colors and for these feathers I will need cyan blue, ultramarine blue and magenta red. As you noticed, I started painting without any drawing and you can do the same or if you prefer, you can make the drawing of the feather. But if you never draw a real feather before, I highly suggest you to find some picture of real feathers and exercise a little bit before you go on with this stylization. So I started with the cyan blue, really really light and I started from the very top of my feather and then I added a little bit of ultramarine blue. And then I painted the rest of my feather with a purple color. So once you painted the whole feather, you can tilt the paper like so and yeah, pay attention if, the, if it's too um, watery, of course it, it would run and you would ruin your painting, so you need to pay extra attention. And then you want to just add a little bit more color here and there. For my second feather, I decided to start with the magenta red, this beautiful bright magenta, and I uh, painted the half of the feather with that color. Then I put the purple color. And finally, the blue color. I also suggest you to try different ways to paint 
these feathers like for example you can just draw the outline with a light color like a light blue and then fill the feather uh, with the same color and then create the ombre effect. And ta-da! This is the result and I think it's really nice and cute and very simple to make. So let's see the second method. So if you want to paint realistic feathers, I suggest you to draw them before. You want your drawing being as much realistic as possible, but not too much detailed, because you want your uh, pencil science to be really light and not too much detailed, because you will give the details with the color if it makes sense. So something like this. So, as always, you want to prepare your colors first before you start painting. And I'm using earth colors, so I'm using burnt sienna and raw amber, and I'm mixing them together to create another shade of brown. And then I'm mixing some raw amber with some ultramarine blue to create another shade of brown, much, much darker and cooler. So you want to start with a wet on wet, which is perfect to represent the featheriness of the feathers. So you want to just apply some clear water on your feather, like so. And then start with the first brown color, which is the warmer ones and the lighter one that I created. So I started from the very top of my feather. And you can also create the fuzzy, fluffy look of the feather by just giving these like little precise strokes. Then intensify the color by adding the um, darker brown on the top and on the bottom of the feather. It's really important to use different shades of brown, so make sure you create at least three different shades. And then I decided to create a pattern with darker stripes. And to give it a more realistic look, you don't want to trace a precise line, but you want to slowly pour the color. And then intensify the stripes, just add in the darker brown, which resembles almost a black color, but it's not a black color.
and then paint the little final details of the feather. So for my second feather I did pretty much the same that I did for my first one. So uh, first I started with some clear water and then I put my first brown color and for this feather I decided to paint brown just one side and the other one is going to be a different color so um, I'm painting brown just the um, this side here and I'm using different shades of brown as always and then for the other side I used these like a teal color it's like a teal greenish color uh, and then I also gave my little strokes to make the fluffy effect And then I also painted the um, pattern as I did on the other one. So this is it! This is the result! my two versions of the feather the first one more colorful and the second one more realistic and more poetic so let me know which one is your favorite so yeah guys this is it the tutorials end here i hope you liked it and let me know if you did by leaving some comments down here and some thumbs up and of course let me know which one you prefer if you prefer this one leave me a comment down here or if you prefer this one so i will see you in my next video make sure to subscribe to my channel and to uh, follow me on uh, instagram and facebook and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye, fantastic. Mwah! Ciao!